oh God, because indeed you're great and you're greatly to be praised, oh God. All honor and glory belong to you, Father God, today. All glory and honor belong to you, Father God, today. We love you and we magnify you, Father God. Father God, we glorify you and we bless your holy name. We thank you and praise you for being our everything, oh God. We thank you and praise you for being our source, Lord. We thank you and praise you for being our strength, oh God. We thank you and praise you for being our very present help, God, in the time of trouble today, oh God. Father God, we bless your name, Lord God. We bless your name and we magnify your name, oh God, because indeed you're great, Lord God. You're great and you're greatly to be praised, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for this day, because Lord, this is the day that you've made, oh God. We rejoice and we're glad in the fact that you've given it to us, oh God. We rejoice and we're glad in the fact that you've given us life, health, and strength today, oh God. We rejoice and we're glad in the fact, oh God, that you've given us the privilege to call upon your name one more time. Father God, we do call upon you, Lord God, because we know that you love us, oh God. We call upon you, Lord God, because we know that you care, Father God. We call upon you, Lord God, because we know that you indeed are our everything, Father God. We thank you for being our source, Lord God. We thank you for being, Lord God, our everything, Father God. We thank you for being our peace, Lord God. We thank you for being our strength, Lord God. We thank you for being our guide, Lord God. We thank you for being our protector, Lord God. We thank you for being our director, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just thank you for it all, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We don't take you for granted, Lord God. We don't take life for granted, Lord God. We take no aspect of it for granted, Lord God. We understand and realize that it's a gift from you, oh, God, and we take the gift and we rejoice in the gift, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to forgive us for our sins, oh, God. Forgive us for where we've missed you, oh, God. Forgive us for where we've fallen short, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you have your way in our lives, oh, God. We commit our lives to you, Lord God, and ask you to use them, Father God, as an offering, Lord God. Use them, Father God, as worship, Lord God. Use them, Father God, as 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 as, as seed, Lord God, that's sown into you, Father God, that as you grow us, Lord God, we'll continue to grow and be all that you've called us to be. Oh, God, we thank you and praise you for hearing and answering today. We ask you to move by your spirit today, oh, God. Father God, we're seeking, Lord God, a fresh anointing. We're seeking revival, Lord God, today. Father God, we're seeking revival, Father God. Father God, we know that where we're going in this new season, Lord God, where we're going as we enter the season of appearing, oh God, where we're going, Lord God, as we enter this Advent season is a place, Lord God, where only revival will take us, Lord God. Father, we need to be renewed in our minds. Father God, give us the mind of Christ today in the name of Jesus. Give us the mind, Lord God, that's set like flint on you, oh God. Give us minds that are ready, Lord God, to run on for you and do the work that you set before us, oh God. Give us minds, Lord God, that, that are ready, Lord God, to be exercised, Lord God, and to, to, that we might walk by faith and not by sight, Father God. Give us minds, Lord God, that are ready, Lord God, to receive your engrafted word, Father God. Give us minds, Lord God, that are set on crying loud and sparing not. Give us minds, Lord God, that are set on standing for righteousness' sake, Father. Give us minds, Lord God, that are set on confessing and professing your word, O God. Give us senses, Lord God, that are in tune and in touch with you constantly, O God. Father God, revive, Lord God, our sense of hearing in the spirit. Revive our sense of seeing in the spirit. Revive our sense of feeling you, Lord God. Give, Lord God, our senses a new level of sensitivity to you and the way that you would have us to go, O God. Father God, you tell us how to move. You tell us how to live, O God. You tell us how to have our being in you, O God. Let us not say anything more or less than what does say it to you, O God. Let us not think anything except those things that are good and pure and lovely and praiseworthy and virtuous and of good report, O God. Let us not say anything other than the thing, but thus saith you, Lord God. We declare and decree that no corrupt communication shall come out of our mouths, O God. Instead, Lord God, we thank you for, for blessings coming out, Lord God. Even in times where the enemy would seek to send cursings our way, Lord God, we thank you for speaking blessing, O God. We thank you for reviving us and helping us see, Lord God, the glass half full in all situations. We thank you for reviving us and helping us see you moving in the midst, Lord God, of every circumstance. We thank you for reviving us and helping us see you having your way, Lord God, when it seems that we're going nowhere, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that in times of trial and test, Lord God, you revived us, Lord God, to not only hear, Lord God, and not only listen, Lord God, but to truly experience, Lord God, your word when it says that my grace is sufficient, O God. We thank you for your sufficient grace today, Father God. We thank you for your sufficient grace and your renewed strength today, O God. We thank you for 
revival, Lord God, in our lives, oh God. We thank you for revival, Lord God, in our zeal for you, oh God. We thank you for our revival, Lord God, in giving us a renewed passion, Lord God, and a renewed sense of urgency, Lord God, in crying loud and sparing not, Lord God. We thank you for the renewed sense of urgency, Lord God, in evangelizing for you, oh God. We thank you for the renewed sense of urgency, Lord God, in sharing, Lord God, your good news with others in the, in the earth, oh God. Father God, give us opportunities. Lead us to opportunities, Lord God, where we can witness, Lord God. Lead us to opportunities, Lord God, to share our faith with others, oh God. Lead us with opportunities, Lord God, to let our light so shine before men and women, Lord God, that they see your good works, oh God, and give you glory, Father. Give us new opportunities, Lord God, to be all that you called us to be, oh God. Give us new opportunities, Lord God, to live our lives in a way that please you, oh God. Give us new opportunities, Lord God, to save souls and change lives, Lord God, through sharing your good news with others, that they might say, what must I do to be saved? We bind up everything that would seek to hinder us from doing so. We bind up indifference. We bind up fear. We bind up fatigue, Lord God. We bind up Lord, double-mindedness. We bind up lukewarm spirits in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us a passion, Lord God, and a red-hot desire, Lord God, to maximize every moment for you, O oh God. A red-hot desire, Lord God, to live for you, Lord God, in all of our living, O oh God. A red-hot desire, Lord God, to let our lives be a clear reflection of your goodness and your mercy, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for taking us and using us, O oh God. We thank you for taking us, Lord God, and sowing us into, Lord God, the work that you have for us to do. We thank you for taking us, Lord God, and using us, Lord God, to truly make a difference in the lives of others, O oh God. Oh, Father, we thank you that our lives today will no longer be ordinary. We thank you, Lord God, that our lives today will no longer just be business as usual, but we're living extraordinary lives, O oh God, because this is an extraordinary time, O oh God. This is an extraordinary time, Lord God, of blessing. This is an extraordinary time of healing, O oh God. This is an extraordinary time of revival, O oh God. This is an extraordinary time of gifts being exercised, O oh God. This is an extraordinary time, Lord God, of your people standing like never before, O oh God. Stir up the gifts that you placed in us today, O oh God. Revive those dreams, O oh God. Revive those hopes, O oh God. Revive those callings, O oh God. Revive the passion, Lord God, once again in your church, O oh God. Revive your ecclesia once more, Lord God. Set us on fire anew, Lord God. Father God, the miracles of the Bible are re relevant for today, O oh God. Lord God, the things and the works of the Bible are relevant for today, O oh God. Father, the offices and gifts of the Spirit, Lord God, are relevant for today, O oh God. Father, we declare and decree, Lord God, that we receive your whole word in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree, Lord God, that receive, Lord, we receive the whole calling, Lord God, for our lives in this season. We declare and decree, Lord God, the fullness of this dispensation in our lives, O oh God, the fullness of every aspect of it, O oh God. Father, our place is not to lean to our understanding, O oh God. Our place is not to lean on the, on, the, on the edicts of the government, Lord God. Our place is not to lean on the edicts of the president, Lord God. Our place is not to lean on the edicts of society, O oh God. Our place is to lean on your word, O oh God, and to show others how to lean on your word, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for reviving our faith today. We thank you for reviving our faith today, Lord God, and making it alive and active in our lives, O oh God. We thank you for reviving our faith today, O oh God, that you take that revived faith, Lord God, and use it, Lord God, to make your church all that you desire it to be. Use it to make us, Lord God, the living witnesses that you created us to be, O oh God. Use it, Lord God, to make us a beacon of light and hope, Lord God, in each city that you've given us, Lord God, to stand in, O oh God. Use it to make it, Lord, make us, Lord God, a place of refuge for your people, Lord God, across, around the world, O oh God. Use it, Lord God, to make us, Lord God, relevant in the earth, Lord God, today. Not for our glory, but for yours, O oh God. Use it, Lord God, to give us platforms and opportunities to share you, Father God. Use it, Father God, to open doors that no man can shut in our lives, O oh God, and to shut off doors, Lord God, that lead to things that are not of you, that no, that no man can open in the name of Jesus. Use it, Lord God, to help us see, Lord God, those things that, that seemingly are impossible, Lord God. Use it, Lord God, to help us remember, Lord God, that faith indeed is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Use it, Lord God, to help us see, Lord God, what you say, Lord God, in our lives. We thank you for helping us see, Lord God, the multiple campuses that you said we're going to have. We thank you for helping us see, Lord God, the worldwide reach that you're going to bless us with that you said we have. We thank you, Lord God, for helping us see, Father God, the resources that you've given us, Lord God, that you set our hours, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, for helping us see, Father God, the impact that you're going to bless us to make in the earth, Father God, because you said it so. We thank you, Lord, for, see, 
prophets have seen the healing for those that, that, that the enemy is seeking to infirm because your word says by his stripes we are healed. We thank you, Lord, for seeing the reconciliation of marriages and homes, Lord God, because you said in your word, Lord God, that you're the mender of broken hearts, oh God. We thank you for seeing, Lord God, victory even in the face of natural defeat, Lord God, because we said, Lord, that your word says that you can do all things but fail, Lord God. We thank you for seeing it all, Father God, because we thank you for opening the eyes of our understanding, Lord God, that they might be enlightened today, Lord God, into what your will is for our lives, oh God, into what your purpose and your plan is for our lives, oh God. We thank you for doing it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for reviving us, Lord God, today. Revive us, Lord God, today, that you'd use us like never before, Father God. Revive us today, Lord God, that you'd have your way in us, Lord God, today in all things. Revive us today, oh God, that we be clear and accurate reflections of you in the earth, Lord God. Revive us today, Lord God, that our jobs, Lord God, will be, Lord God, our witnessing fields, Lord God, and that our positions, Lord God, will be our pulpits, Lord God, that we preach the gospel, Lord God, of salvation in Jesus Christ and him crucified in our living and our functioning in the jobs that you've given us to do, oh God. Father God, because we know that in the midst of those jobs, Father God, we understand that our greatest job, Lord God, is being an ambassador for Christ, oh God. We thank you, Father God, for reviving our passion and our desire to be ambassadors for Christ today, Lord God. We thank you and praise you for doing it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you and praise you for ministering to every member of this house, Lord God. I speak revival and health, O oh God. I speak revival and strength, O oh God. I speak revival and favor, Lord God. I speak revival and belief, Lord God. I speak revival and encouragement, Lord God. I speak revival in each of my brothers. I speak revival in each of my sisters. I speak revival in every member, Lord God. I speak revival in every partner, Lord God. Every, I speak revival in every one, Lord God, that, that, that hears and receives this prayer, Lord God. I thank you and praise you, Lord God, that as we touch and agree, Lord God, with one accord that you'll bring revival, Lord God, that we will experience revival in the land, oh God, that we will walk, Lord God, in a way that's pleasing to you, that we will eat of the good of the land, oh God, that we will live a life, Lord God, in a land that indeed overflows once again, Lord God, with milk and honey, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for provision. We thank you for superabundance, Lord God. We thank you for giving us revival, Lord God, that we can experience, Lord God, that we can experience it, Lord God. We thank you for the revival, Lord God, to dream again, the revival to believe again, the revival to act again, the revival to experience it all again, Lord God, and the revival to achieve it all again, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for blessing and for moving by your spirit today. I thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering our prayers today. I thank you, Lord God, for using us to cry loud and spare not. I thank you, Lord God, for having your way in us, O oh God. I thank you, Lord God, for every door that's open in your name today, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for being a blessing, Lord God, in every way, Lord God, to everyone, Lord God, every time they call on you, Father God. I thank you and praise you, Lord God, for coming through and turning into time, Lord God, and for meeting each of us right where we are, Father God. I thank you for meeting us this morning right where we are today, oh God. I thank you for having your way this morning in our lives in every single way, Lord God. Father, you know every prayer petition and prayer request that's been made, Lord God. I touch and agree with each and every one of my brothers and sisters, Lord God, that I've had the opportunity to contact, Lord God, this week, Father God. I, Lord God, touch and agree with each and every need today, oh God. I touch and agree with each and every petition today, oh God. I touch and agree with each and every request today, oh God. And I stand in agreement with my brother. I stand in agreement with my sister that your will shall be done. I speak revival right now. I speak revival in health, Lord God. I speak revival in circumstances, Lord God. I speak revival in situations, Lord God. I speak revival in faith, Lord God. I speak revival in belief, Lord God. I speak revival in activity, Lord God. I speak re revival in thinking, Lord God. I speak revival in understanding and comprehending, Lord God. I thank you for having your way, O oh God. I touch and agree with my brother and my sister, Lord God, for you to be glorified in the earth, O oh God, for your will to be done in every situation, Lord God, for your will to be done in every circumstance, Lord God. I pray you and I thank you for doing it, Lord God. We thank you and praise you for having your way today, oh God. We thank you and praise you for hearing our prayer this morning, oh God. We thank you and praise you for giving us our marching orders today, oh God. We thank you and praise you for victory today, Lord God. We thank you and praise you for having your way in us today, oh God. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for peace today. We thank you and praise you for wisdom today and for insight today. We thank you and praise you most importantly for you today, oh God. 
We bless your name today, O oh God. We thank you today, O oh God, for being our everything, O oh God. We thank you today, O oh God, for hearing and answering our prayers, O oh God. We thank you today, O oh God, for reviving us and refreshing us, Lord. We thank you today, O oh God, for preparing us, Lord God, for this week. We thank you for every mountaintop, O oh God. We thank you for every valley experience, Lord God. We thank you for every point in between, Lord God, because we know in it all and through it all, Lord God, you shall be glorified, O oh God. We thank you for hearing and answering our prayers, O oh God. We thank you for doing it, Lord God. And by faith, we declare and decree it done, Lord God. We commit our works unto you, Lord God, this week, Lord God, that our way might be established in you, Father God. We thank you for having your way in us, Lord God. We thank you for moving by your spirit in us, Lord God. And we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers today, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, God. Oh, glory to your name, oh God. Glory to your name, O oh God. We say amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our scripture for this morning and for this week is found in 1 Kings, the second chapter, verse 3. It says, carefully obey all his laws, commands, decisions, and agreements. Obey everything that is written in the law of Moses. If you do this, you'll be successful at whatever you do and wherever you go. My prayer, my desire is that we walk in that success this week. And my declaring, my, my declaration and decree this day in the name of Jesus is that we shall be courageous. We shall obey every written law. And we shall be successful at whatever we do and wherever we go. Have a wonderful, blessed week. God bless. Living Witness Ministries is a church on the move dedicated to sharing the good news of Jesus Christ through the preached and taught word, community activism and outreach, and practical ministry designed to meet needs, bless hearts, save souls, and change lives. You can sow into the ministry via our cash app at dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. That's dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. Sow your seed into the good works and good ground of Living Witness Ministries today. And thank you for helping us reach the world with the life giving way. We pray that you were blessed by today's broadcast and would love to hear from you. If you have any prayer requests, praise reports, or would like to learn more about Living Witness Ministries, you can contact us by email at livingtowitness at gmail.com. That's the word living, the number two, witness at gmail.com or by phone at area code 404-955-8846. Again, that's area code 404-955-8846. Until next time, we encourage you to continue to live your life as a living witness.